What is up, Wretched Nation? We are getting ready to embark on our trip down to Key West. Now, I'm not quite sure how many videos I'm going to break this up in. I'm thinking two, so I'm going to shoot it that way. I figured a video getting down there, and the one day we're going to stay there, and the, uh, coming back. So, just getting down there is probably going to be one video. Uh, today, we are just got off work. Not going to be too far probably about 300 miles it's some town in south carolina uh that's what we're shooting for but we have no plans uh the biggest thing is we want to try to make it to where tomorrow we've only got 500 miles to get to west palm beach that's the plan but got the bag or the bike packed everything pretty much ready so hopefully we'll have a good trip but we got the bike ready to go got a bar tour pack slam full probably bringing more than we have to we're going to be gone almost a week, but I'm excited. Wife's finishing up her final things inside. Getting ready to hop on this thing, and we're going to head on down to uh, Key West. It's a thousand miles from here to there, so I'm not going to do it all in one day, but uh, we're going to have a good time. And we're going to take you all along with us, so definitely hit that subscribe button for probably the two videos. And... Uh, Hit up that comment section. We just passed 200 subscribers. Super psyched about that. Appreciate you guys so much. So definitely stay tuned. All right, everybody. We are off and on our way. Uh, we It's 5.30. We had planned on leaving around 5 o'clock. So that's not bad considering us. Um, we had a bit of a couple of issues. Um, one friend actually his idea for the trip really he uh he's got really bad allergies and he's not feeling too great and uh he's getting on up there in age a little bit so he's decided to take his truck um that's unfortunate but i'd much rather him be on the truck and go with us than be at home so it is what it is we will still be able to have fun and have a good time and it's always nice to have a support vehicle, so there's, there is that. But we're hitting the highway. We plan on going 300 miles. Don't know if that's going to happen, but that's the plan. Uh, four bikes, one truck. Let's see where this takes us.
definitely not quite sure. Darlene's got a diner, and she's never gone to any tank before. So we're not quite sure. It looks like a mileage she's going to get. Uh, so we're pretty confident to get 150. So we see there's a little 150. Looks like we should be able to go. But uh, that's the main plan, so we got less than 100 miles to go, and I'm sure we'll stop somewhere. But we're just going to knock out these miles. I'm guessing this is where we end up. It's going to be dark by that point, but we're going to do as far as we can. I'll film what I can. It's going to need to film in the dark, but we'll see what we get. On to Key West we go. We're not going to make it today, but we're going to get somewhere in South Carolina, I hope. We'll see where we end up. Well, we made it almost 100 miles and we hit traffic. I don't know what's going on here. Hopefully it's just work at this exit. That's what it looked like it might be. Uh, but I'm sure we're going to hit plenty of construction along 95. That's what it looks like. Hopefully, just this one exit, we're right at 98 and a half miles. So, hopefully, just a little bit of a slowdown and we can get back going. And yeah, we should be all right. That sun's coming on down though. After seven o'clock, we've been riding straight since 5:30. You know, stop and go here a little bit through some towns. But uh, hopefully we'll make it to some more 50 miles uh, before we stop so we can cover some good ground. But we'll see how that looks. But Darlene back there is holding strong. It's her first time really on the highway for this long and really on a trip. Uh, so it's pretty crazy what she's setting out to do. Uh, hopefully everything goes well and everything holds together, but she's doing a damn good job so far. Well, we didn't make it the 150 miles I had hoped for. Um, a lot of that is probably due to the first hour we were riding. We weren't, not, we weren't going non-stop. A lot of that had to end with towns and stoplights and different stuff like that. Uh, but it's funny the way things work out because we have stopped to this gas station a couple years back just randomly and it's funny how you end up stopping at the same gas station again. Uh, I always think that stuff is kind of weird, uh, especially when it's not planned. But we're going to stop for gas, hopefully make it a quick stop, fill up and go and uh, get back on the road. Alright guys, I don't know if you're going to be able to see any of this, but right at on 95 the South Carolina, North Carolina border, you have south of the border, and it's, I haven't probably been there in 10 years. Last year I stopped at that Waffle House down there, but it's like this crazy like roadside attraction. They sell fireworks, they got a hotel, they got just all this stuff. Probably need to uh, stop by there. It's been a long time. I don't know how much you guys can see of that, but uh, it's definitely gotten bigger. And uh, it's just this crazy little like, I don't know, roadside attraction. Uh, that you don't see stuff like that anymore. And a funny story about the Waffle House across the street is last year we rode down to Myrtle Beach in the fall and it was pretty much, it was like a, we rode through a tropical storm and uh, it was probably the worst decision we've ever made. But we did it, it took us forever and uh, the result was the worst ride I've ever been on. But we stopped at that Waffle House across the street and you would have thought that was literally heaven itself. Just being able to stop somewhere, get warm, and 
have something warm to eat. It was amazing. But we got some more road to go, so we're just going to battle this out and get where we're going. It's, it's going to be a bit of a late one. Not too bad, because we're going to have to get up and ride all day tomorrow, so there's no reason to uh, ride ourselves into the dirt. But we'll probably ride, I don't know, maybe another 120, 130 miles and uh, stop the gas and then start looking for something to eat in a hotel. Alright, we made it to Walterboro, South Carolina. So, made it in last night. We're getting ready to uh, go across the street for some breakfast at Crackle Barrel. Then we're going to hit the road. We never did eat last night. But we made a good time. It wasn't too late. Got a little chilly. But we're going to go get some food. It's 8 a.m. And uh, then hopefully make it the rest of the way down to West Palm. Uh, hopefully the ride's good today. It's going to be all 95. So we'll see how much construction we get. But let's get it. guys the next morning well you already saw that we had breakfast but we're hitting the road in a cracker barrel across the street now we're gonna hit the highway we're not too far from Georgia we'll be in Georgia before we stop again we're not too far so it's gonna be a good ride it's not too hot yet hopefully allergies will kind of stay away but it's quarter to ten a little later than we wanted to get moving but I think that's just how it goes but our biggest our biggest goal for the day is to get to West Palm uh, that's where we need to be at tonight and uh, I'm sure we'll make it not sure when but we'll get there no real issues yesterday Nice easy ride. Hopefully traffic, construction, wrecks, all that stuff will not be an issue today. But we'll see how that goes. Everybody worked great last night. Uh, no real issues. So we're just going to hit the highway today. And I'm sure a lot of this is going to be mundane. So probably won't show you too much. But we're going to hit the road running. And I'll uh, see where we end up.
Well, we didn't make it through Georgia. We got 50 miles left. But, uh, that's not for gas. So, not quite sure where we are. I didn't pay attention when we get the exit on. But, uh, I'm gonna gas up. Probably gonna be a quick stop. Maybe grab some lunch at the next stop. But, uh, when we stop again, we'll be in Florida. But I think out of our entire trip, that's the halfway point. I think we're in Darien, Georgia. I don't know. I can't remember exactly what the sign said. But we're getting gas. It's our first stop of the day. I think we're going about 115, 120 miles. And Darlene's bike needs gas, so we'll be stopping often. But as long as we don't stay too long at each stop, we'll be all right. Uh, this gas station doesn't have a bathroom, so we're gonna have to run and find a bathroom. But other than that, gas up, hit the road. Looks like we're stopping for gas in St. Augustine. We've made it to Florida. Uh, I definitely probably need to throw some sunscreen on. My arms are getting a little, a little toasty. I can feel it. Um, I'm mostly excited about being able to blow my nose, wipe my eyes, and clean my face and mouth. Uh, my allergies have been kicking me pretty hard, and I am just a petri dish of disgusting right now. So we're gonna fill up clean myself up and uh, hopefully grab some lunch. I'm starting to get pretty hungry. It's almost 140. So uh, I'm waiting for some food. We'll see what we can't find. Getting on a motorcycle on the wrong side. Yeah. All right, we are leaving Port St. Lucie, headed to West Palm. I think we got like 50 miles to go. Uh, the last, I don't know, 200 miles or so. I haven't really been filming, uh, just been barreling down 95. Darlene's bike isn't really getting over 100 miles. We might be able to do 110, 120 if we're not fluctuating speed that much, but she's not getting the greatest gas mileage. We are having to stop a lot, but I think we only got like 50 miles left. Uh, we're not too much more on the highway. Once we get to West Palm, it's probably going to get a little a little crowded out here at 6 o'clock. So maybe by the time we hit that, most of the traffic, or at least rush hour traffic, will be gone. Not sure, but we're going to see what we get into. This trip has been uh, pretty uneventful so far, which is a good thing. Uh, nothing too crazy has happened. 
but it's been a really nice, nice trip. Uh, we're at, I don't know, what, 400 miles for the day, a little over 400 miles for the day, uh, a little over 700 for the two days. We've been at this for 24 hours and 30 minutes, so not too bad. Plenty of time, it stops. We haven't been pushing anything uh, at all, so that's been great. Kind of sunburned. Hopefully, most of that will soak in and not burn me to a crisp, but it is what it is. The old road glide's been doing great this trip. Uh, we're on our borrowed seat, borrowed tour pack, the legend suspension in the rear, got the Revo A shocks. Shout out to Prior Performance again for giving me a great deal on these. Uh, honestly, I don't know how I ever rode this bike before. Uh, again, not really going to do a review right now. I'm going to do a separate video review on those legend shocks. But uh, so far, they feel amazing. Uh, super happy with how they perform. The wife uh, likes them. You know, you hit these bumps, it's not killing your back. So this trip's been pretty, uh, pretty smooth sailing so far. I don't want to jinx us. But the bike is uh, way more comfortable and performing a whole lot better than our trip we just took to New York. So that's pretty good. It, it is crazy. Within, I think a month's time, I can't remember exactly when we went to New York, but uh, I know it's been right about a month. We went from home to New York and back, and then now we're going all the way down to uh, Key West. Uh, I do really like these trips, and hopefully we'll be taking more. But we're going to finish out these two miles. We hit up a hotel room, and uh, we're going to go to my country safari tomorrow. That'll probably be on this video, and that'll be it. Like I said, nothing too crazy has happened so far. Hopefully it won't. Uh, everybody's been doing great. And I uh, just want to continue that. I'm definitely ready for some dinner. Uh, getting kind of hungry, a little after 6 o'clock. The sign says West Park Beach, 46 miles. So we're going to knock this out and get there. Alright, well we're getting off the highway, so at this point it must be closed. I got no idea where we're going, or I know where we're going, I have no idea how to get there, uh, but I'm following my father-in-law, and he actually grew up in this area, so he probably knows where he's going, we're, uh, we've picked out a hotel not too far from Lion Country, so that's where we're going to stay. I guess we found our hotel. Oh, he's wanting to park there. All right. All right, guys, we're in another hotel. Um, first one didn't pan out, didn't have any rooms for us. So we hopped on the road, found another hotel, definitely kind of probably out of our area. As soon as we pulled in, there's Porsches, Bentleys, Land Rovers, all that stuff. So uh, we're gonna see what we find out. But we made it, we're in West Palm, we're need, where we need to be for the night. So hopefully there'll be a couple rooms available. They said there was some available online, so we're gonna find out. Uh, but get us some rooms, get us some food, and uh, rest for the night so we can go to Lion Country tomorrow. But we'll see where we go from here. I'm not quite sure. But we had a good ride. Pretty happy with today. Uh, just need some good food and a shower. I don't know how well you can see it, but I'm kind of kind of burn up. But it is what it is. Having a good time. Thank you guys for following along with us as well. All right, we made it to Lion Country Safari. We just got here, we're a little late. That's all right. But we're gonna go 
see what we have going on here. It's way bigger than the pictures that uh, my wife has of his of her grandfather from, I don't know, the 70s. But we're gonna check it out, see what we got. And uh, we're 800 miles into our trip, so we're getting there. But we're gonna have fun and look at the line today. Definitely stick around for that. Uh, but as always, keep it wretched. 